Greetings. So this is going to be another general energy for the Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. This reading is going to be tapping into what it, what you won't be expecting for the month of July 2019. I really hope that it resonates for you, but because it's general, it may or may not. So please be sure to watch your rising and your new placement as well for added clarity. You also can book a personal reading with me. All that information will be in the description box below. Um, the link to my website will be there and to my Instagram. Thank you so much to all of my new and my old subscribers. I really do appreciate the support. It really means a lot. If you're interested in pick a card readings or um, sale readings, please be sure to follow me on Instagram at Restare God Insights. Let's see, Gemini. What are you not expecting this month of July 2019? Okay. So we got the Knight of Wands that fell out first and the Four of Cups. So maybe some discontentment in something, not wanting to move forward with something, not wanting to move towards something. Hmm, okay. So we have Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo already. <clears throat> okay, we have Libra. There's heavy energy with Gemini. We have a world card. I'll show the cards in just a minute. No. Okay, so we have the Hierophant, or yeah, the Hierophant, the Death card, and the Strength card in reversed. We have the Justice card, the Knight of Wands in reverse, and the World card. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Wands in the reversed. Okay, so. For a lot of you, this has to do with a commitment, um, possibly a relationship. Let's see. Let's clarify some things. So we have Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra. Yeah. So Earth, Fire. Earth and fire and air. Okay. Why is the strength card here in reverse? We have the ace of cups in reversed. So I kind of feel like someone may, even though they lack confidence in coming toward you, they may come toward you um, wanting to fight for a commitment or commit to something with you and fear that something's going to end if they don't. And I kind of feel like you were expecting for this the situation to close out for whatever reason. Let's get some more clarity. Why is the higher point? Okay, yeah, we have the five of wands in reverse and the two of pentacles in reverse. Why is the world card here? We have the Six of Wands, okay. Why is the Justice card here? It's kind of like, um, for some of you, I feel like there was someone that you may have been moving with or moving toward with the Knight of Wands in reverse, or there was like some sort of movement between you and this person. And then something happened, or this person kind of, like something is stagnant, maybe due to this person feeling insecure and offering you a commitment. Um, yeah, we have the Two of Swords. Why is the Justice card here? I'm just trying to get down to what this energy is saying completely here. This is pretty heavy, okay. So we have the Queen of Swords. Why is the Death card here? We have the page of pentacles. So yeah, 
I feel like this person is going to come in and offer you something out of fear that something's going to end. I feel like the reason why this person didn't come and make this offer sooner is because they they were heavily mentally conflicted because I feel like this person didn't feel as confident in coming toward you and offering this or that it would even or that it even could be a possibility for things to be um, something more. There also could have been some sort of tension or miscommunication or something that made someone upset. And so they're coming in actually committing themselves or, you know, offering something stable, offering something that is going to allow things to be or to, to put forth some, for, some sort of effort and commitment to the situation. Give me some more clarity on the Justice card. Yeah, we have the Hermit card. So we have Virgo. I feel like you were just kind of expecting that this was something that for the sake of yourself or what was good for yourself to kind of keep this in, in the cold, to leave the situation alone or not get involved in the situation, not move forward. Um, I kind of feel like for some of you, you were going to kind of make this known um, with your movements, maybe even on social media. Or just kind of like broadcasting yourself in a way where it's known to this person that things are over, I feel. So there's like some sort of recognition that, look, this is over. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords in reverse. So yeah, I feel like it's something over the, the internet. We have the Judgment card in reverse. So yeah, I think that you were kind of expecting it to be a thing where you and this person didn't even really communicate anything. It was just something that you put out there so that it's known like, look, this is over. So they can kind of stress over this. Um, you could have even been expecting that there would be some anxiety on your end in, in reference to this person um, due to kind of how things ended abruptly. Because I don't feel like this was something that was like communicated together. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah. Hmm. Okay. I feel like there was some stagnancy here. I feel like things were kind of moving too slow. And so someone kind of pulled back and there was a pullback. And then out of that pullback, there wasn't really anything communicated like, hey, we're just not going to talk anymore or whatever, whatever. I think it just kind of happened. So, uh, but I feel like this person is going to come toward you and offer you something. So... Um, for some of you, this could be a thing, too. If this is not a person, it could be a thing where uh, a financial situation where you are waiting for something as far as legal matters or law or something to be resolved with that. And I kind of feel like you felt like the, the situation or um, something about it was too stagnant. And so you, you maybe didn't think that it was going to go forward, um, but it, it will go forward. I feel like it'll work out in your advantage. So let's see, why is this ten of cups? Okay, so we have the uh, high priestess in reverse clarifying the ten of cups. Yes, yeah, so I feel like it's something. Yeah, we have the ace of swords. Okay, why is the four of pentacles here? Okay, we have the seven of wands. So, yeah, someone is holding on to you. Someone is holding on to the situation or there's a grip on the situation or there's going to be an opportunity for you to stand up for yourself and get what you're wanting. Okay, for some of you, this has to do with money, legal matters, um, something about your home, something about money. There's definitely going to be exactly what you want to come out of that for you. Um, I feel like there will be an opportunity for you to stand up for yourself with someone coming toward you and maybe offering you a little less than you deserve. It has to do with money. I feel like this person may come in or this this legal situation may come through and offer you a little something. And through that, you can ne negotiate something for, something a lot more. And I feel like it'll have something to do with you having proof for something that you can put online, something that you can display so that um, it kind of puts this company or whatever in a position to pay you the money that they owe you. It's like you have your receipts. Um, if this is a love situation for you, which I'm getting for a lot of you, it has to, it has to do with the home. So if there's nothing that you're dealing with legally or money-wise or any money you're waiting for to come in, then you would resonate it for love. Um, vice versa, it could be both for some, who knows. Um, 
But I feel like this person or this this money or whatever is actually really going to come through. There's going to be an opportunity for you to stand up for what it is that you truly want. And I feel like out of fear that this person is going to lose you or out of fear that this person will lose some sort of money or something with the law, they're going to give you what you're wishing for. So why is the Ace of Wands in reverse? We have the Four of Wands. So I think it's something that's definitely going to come about. It may take some time, I feel. Have the Seven of Pentacles. It fell out in reverse. And then when I try to pick it up, it went up right. So we have the tower card. So yeah, I feel like after investing some time, some energy, after I feel like it's a thing with it being in reverse too, that I feel like a lot of you may invested a lot of time into the situation or put forth more effort than the other person. And now this person is coming in. Like what you, the time and, and the money and the, the um, whatever you've been doing, the energy that you've invested in this is going to, happen come out the way that you want okay yeah you're not gonna have to fight anymore with the five of swords here in reversed okay so let's pull you a oracle message all right let's see here So recapping to the beginning when the Knight of Wands came out in reverse with the Four of Cups. I feel like as of right now, presently, or how it's been with um, a, a particular situation, I feel like it just it has been stagnant. You haven't been getting exactly what it is that you want. There's just enough to make you stay fighting for it or dealing with it or whatever it is. But it's not all that you want. I feel like you're going to get what you want this month, okay? So it says life review. It says take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is imbalanced let's see we have creative writing it says make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book and we also have leadership it says it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others okay so gemini i feel like it's a thing too where this what you're wanting to come in with this situation is going to come in and i feel like it's going to come in this month it's going to be the beginning of what it is that you want but i think it's very important to work on yourself make sure that you process your thoughts in a way um to where it's not causing conflicts or causing things to not go your way negativity anything blocking your desires because i feel like something that you've been trying to manifest or something that you've been working on for quite a while is starting to come to fruition something that you've put your efforts and your time into um and it's important to release anything that is going to block this from coming completely in or completely um flowing or continuing to flow in your life so yeah I hope that this helps. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out my website. Um, I appreciate all of the support and I'll see you all next time.